Cyber Monday. So, um, they did change the UI just a little bit in comparison to, like, uh, Shogun 2 and, uh, Empire Total War and Napoleon. Um, you have... This is how it's all set up. So you kind of have a province that you set up. So I pretty much captured the whole British Isle here, and then I'm going to go get what is known as modern-day Ireland here, or old-school Ireland. I'm going to go ahead and cap that at some point. But since I capped this whole province here, you have different sizes of the province. So this would be the capital of this whole province, which is Britannia. Um, you have your smaller settlements, which are located across here. And all the stuff you're building in this whole entire province links into whatever resources you have. So, it also tells you what kind of garrisons you have. And you say that's a nice little neat... F well, it's not a new feature, but it's a neat feature that they've been sticking with. So, you don't have to have your army sitting Warriors in the city. Old. I can move him and know that I have... A garrison of 13 units to defend it. Now it's always good to have one major army sitting in the area to be able to move to any areas. Uh, another nice thing is that uh, if you have a navy, yes. these guys carry my melee units. Um, for the most part, in ship battles they'll go in and uh, I actually need to ship these guys over there since I'm about to conquer that island. You don't have as many guys, but each ship holds about 80 of these uh, levy freemen, which is pretty much my sock troops for now. Um, I just, even though I picked this faction, it just seems like there's not too many in the beginning when it comes to terms of building guys, but I had some fun with their ballistas. And I'm trying to find where my major army is. I think he's still at the top here. I think that was a bad guy. How can I help? For the tribe! That's my main army at the moment. But pretty much everything's done. Um, your technology, this is how your technology is. I mean, you have your commerce and military, and they all have three branches here. It's not as fancy as the Shogun one where you have this massive tree, but it makes it a little more simple for you. It tells you on the bottom left here, you'll see what, you know, what bonuses you get with them and what you need and all that. And, I have a pretty good spread, you just don't want to focus on one area, you want to get your economy up as well, because the more you build in your army, of course I need to increase my income, which is down here, so, this is a nice income I have at the moment, apart from trades and then conquering this whole isle, um, that kind of stuff. Growth is very important too, it allows your settlements, the province, to grow, and when it grows up, the population surplus allows you upgrade so the more you have you can build an additional building in that city or you can pop one down or dismantle one and change one if you don't like it see some of these shrines there I'm not into but I mean it I don't really use cap cavalry units so I might dismantle that actually and that sounds like a good plan but it gives me the whole edict once you capture a whole entire province you can click one of these bonuses Right now I have the bread and games, which gives me four food, four growth per turn, and public order, which is very important because when you hit below on certain things, it actually it hurts you a lot. So when, you can't just like build things in this game. You need to be able to adjust and see, do, if I upgrade this, this is going to take away, you know, as you see on the left side of the screen, it's going to take away eight food. Do I have enough food surplus to be able to do that and then the more food surplus you have the better stuff you have so it's just it's a lot of weighing your options and that's what I like about the strategy and it's not just completely turn based I mean the campaign modes turn based but when you get the battle mode hail to the mother how can I help hail to the mother <laughs> but yeah like when you kind of like yeah